Hey guys, my name is Bridget and welcome to my floor. Today we're going to be talking about the books I'm bringing to college. This is extremely late. I am aware. I'm sorry. I felt like it was still relevant because I still do have these books at college. I can film an updated video talking about the books I have here and what I've read and what I haven't later. If you want that, let me know down in the comments. And we're on the floor because I will be packing them as I talk about them because I need to be packing. So I'm bringing 13 books with me to college. 10 of them are for fun. Three of them are for school. 10 might not seem like a lot. I agree. It doesn't sound like a lot. It's very hard to narrow down which ones you want to actually bring. Last year I was like I'll bring 20 books. I'm extra and I was like 20 sounds like a decent number. It's like not too high, not too low. And by the end of the year I have not read any of them. Discounting the ones I read over winter break and gave my mom so that she could take them home. Not a great reading year for me at school. New year new me. They say at the beginning of the year. I say at the beginning of the school year. So this year I'm bringing 10 books. As a person who loves to buy too many books I need to bring books with me even if I don't think I'm gonna read any of them. Let's just go through the books I'm bringing. Okay, first I'll talk about the books that I'm bringing that I've already read. Two of those are by Rainbow Rowell, Fangirl and Carry On. I really want to reread Fangirl because now I'm in college. I've already finished my first year of college, so I relate to her. And so college is kind of scary sometimes because I first read it either freshman or sophomore year of high school. It's been almost four years. Wayward Sun is coming out, the second book in the Carry On series, and I'm super excited about it, so I want to reread this before it comes out. I'm also going to her tour stop in Georgia with my friend Maddie, so I'm excited to go to the tour stop. The next book I'm bringing is Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I read this book this summer. Everyone had been raving about it and it's adorable. I've wanted to reread this since I read it the first time. Honestly, if anything's gonna get me to read again, it's an adorable book. I have a whole review about this and how much I enjoyed it. Like there are some things that I was bothered by, but overall I really enjoyed it. So if you want, you can check out my review. It'll be like up here or up there. I don't really know where the little button is, but like it's up here somewhere, you know? It made me so happy the first time. Now onto the books I haven't read. The next book I'm bringing is another contemporary. Well, I'm just bringing a lot of contemporaries, what I'm realizing. That is My Life with the Walter Boys by Ali Novak. It's a Wattpad novel. I was interested to see what Wattpad novels are like. It'll be quick. It's only 350 pages, so like, Hopefully I can get to it. The next book is another one that I've been meaning to read forever because you know, naturally I've been meaning to read a lot of books forever. And that is The Love Interest by Kayla Dietrich. It's about two spies who have to try and get this girl to fall in love with them. And then they fall in love with each other. And I think that's a really great idea. <laughs> I think it sounds really cute. And I'm intrigued by the premise. I hope I get to it. I say it about all of these because I don't know if I'm gonna read. But yeah, it also has a nice cover. So I'm excited. The next book I'm bringing is Elusive by Emily Lloyd Jones because I can't go a year without any more super hero novels. There's no more Marvel movies this year, which I am so very sad about. I'm bringing this because it's a superhero book. They've got superpowers. I'm always here for that. The next book I'm bringing is Because You Love to Hate Me by like 13 booktubers and 13 authors and it's all edited by A. Marie. I'm bringing this because it's a bunch of short stories in a like big bind up collection. So I'm hoping to read one every once in a while. I feel like it has less commitment value in my brain. Hopefully that'll allow me to pick it up sporadically throughout the year and read a bit of it. The next book I'm bringing is We Are on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. It's set in Georgia and I go to school in Georgia because I go to Emory. I want to read a book about where I am in college. <laughs> I thought that'd be fun. I remember really enjoying Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. The next book I'm bringing is Slam by Colleen Hoover. I haven't read a Colleen Hoover book before. I have a few of them on my unread shelf and I've heard they're fast. As we've said, fast reads are good for when I'm in college and have not had time to read because I'm too busy hanging out with friends and stuff, like doing homework, you know? And this one really intrigues me because it has slam poetry. And the final book I'm bringing for fun and everything is Vengeful by B.E. Schwab. This is the second book in the Vicious series. I read Vicious like a couple years ago and I really loved it so much. It it was during the booktubeathon that I read it. It's also superpowers because we can't get enough of those because I love superpowers. Have I gotten that across on my channel? I really have been wanting to read this since it came out last year. I got it shipped to my college on the day it came out and I still have not picked it up. Okay, and then the books I'm bringing for school. The first one is On the Road by Jack Kerouac. Had this book last year for my popular fiction in the academy class. I need it again this year for my Foundations of American Society class. They want the scroll version and not like this other version. I didn't want to buy another book, so I'm keeping this one and using it again because money. I had to buy another copy anyway because they changed all of the names. It would have been impossible for me to write an essay without having read this version of it. Gotta love that. The next two are actually the same book. That's The Taming of the Shrew by Shakespeare. I have these two versions of it. This one is really pretty and it matches my copy of Macbeth. This is the Spark Notes version. I have both of them because I wanted to see different editions of it because I'm directing Taming of the Shrew for our Shakespeare club this year. I know many people don't like this story. I'm excited to do my own little version of it. I bought these two versions because obviously I need a version of the text to prepare for the play. I want to cut out a bunch of stuff so that the play is shorter. So now I've packed all my books. Look, I can still fit more books in here. I do think this is the right choice for me. 
logically to only bring 10 books. Thanks for helping me pack. I hope you enjoyed seeing what books I'm bringing to college. If you are in college right now, let me know what books you're bringing down in the comments below. If not, let me know what you think of the books I'm bringing. Like this video if you enjoyed seeing me pack up these books and let you know what books I'm bringing to school. Subscribe to my channel for more fun bookish content. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be up very soon. So see you guys then. Okay, bye!